And I was running with the main group to the main, gro to the main um, gate. And I remember Frenzel shot in Katus with a machine gun. I remember another Nazi ha with his back against the canteen. They have a canteen. I shot him with a pistol while he was back in cap. And as he hear uh, a friend fall here, there, I hear the whistle of the bullets. So I, ba I did backed up and started to run back. And at that point, I don't remember what's happened. But the next thing I remember, I did find myself in a corridor. You see, there were three barbed wires running around Sobibor and a minefield. The first two barbed wires were fairly close, but between the second and the third last barbed wire, there was a hallway, a guard for the Ukrainians with the dogs, for the guards. By that time, the Ukrainians did escape, being afraid. So I find myself, probably I went into the gate where the Ukrainian guards went in. I find myself in this hallway, and I realize, look, I have two barbed wires behind me, barbed wire fences on the one front fence, but in the hand I had only a knife. I remember there was inscription, Kusha shall paisa, probably, uh, uh, per, paisa. probably it was a rabbi's knife, because yeah. I find it in the luggage. And, uh, and what could I do with the knife? I stood in the front of the fence, barbed wire fence. Sasha was nearby, the leader of the world, with a pistol. He can do much either. And was Shloma with a rifle, I remember him shooting. And, uh, more and more people did come, and finally a guy did come with an axe and start to cut a hole in the, in the fences, and people start to go through the hole. But more, as more and more people did come in, and from the guards, the, the, the guards which were from, from the towers, the guards which were weren't able to reach, start to shot, and people were waiting in the line, were waiting, they start to climb the fence. And while I was and that time I thought this is the worst thing could happen. At a time stuck, I will be in Sobibo because the moment I went to this hall, at that point, the fence onto the heaviness of the bodies of the people climbing collapsed and pinned me down. Now I realized that this was my luck because while laying onto the fence, people stepping over me, I've seen bodies taken apart by the mines. And later, when everybody went through, I did try to climb out and wasn't able because the barbs did embed it in my cord. And uh, I had to look like I had a leather cord because I picked it up from the storms and didn't go too deep. But I did slid out from this leather cord, I left the cord onto the barbed wires, and I was running. And I was probably the last one. I did fall down a couple of times, I remember, in the field. I thought I'm hit, but I did get up and run it until I reached the forest.